Having a place you can work on your bike, or anything for that matter, is something that every do-it-yourself person needs. I show how I take my dingy, messy garage and give myself a nice bike cave, coming up right after this. There are quite a few things that are associated with springtime that can hinder us mountain bikers. And one of those things that can always seem to get us every time we get out the bike this time of year, and that's rain. It seems like every time I have the free time to go out and bike, the wet stuff falls from the sky. Over the winter time, I accumulated a lot of junk in my garage, and I've been w waiting for the weather to break so I can have set up a place to work on my bike without annoying my wife by working in the living room or kitchen. When I work on my bike, it's usually taken apart for a week or so. As you can imagine, the wifey doesn't get too happy about having a bike in the living room for that long. Just because of the mess of my garage, that was the first priority. I have a lot of old computer equipment from side jobs and just a lot of clutter that needs to go. Unfortunately, when you are a family of four and living in a house that's smaller than a lot of one bedroom apartments, it's difficult to find places for overflow. So cleaning up is a priority. Even now as I release the video, the garage is at 100%, but I now have a place to work on my bike and have a good home for them. And the foundation to any workshop is first and foremost your toolbox. Some may be smaller and some may be larger, but this is where it all starts. The next is your workbench. This can be made or bought like mine, but either way, you can set it up however you like. Some guys like Seth like to have their most used tools and quick access places actually on the workbench itself. I prefer to have mine stay in the toolbox. This is because my workbench also doubles as my studio where I do my live streams and edit and record video and sound. One thing I like to do with any of my work areas, whether that be for bike, cars, or even a computer, I like to have a stickable whiteboard on all or part of the surface. The nice thing about this whiteboard is when you take parts off, you can write exactly what it is and where it goes. Plus, you really don't have to worry about it getting greasy as it, you can wipe it right off. Once I got this work area set up, I then set up my workstation area with my studio speakers, at its shelf with some LED accent lighting. I also installed a four foot LED light to illuminate most of the work area. Because I didn't want to wire a switch on the wall and run a cable, I bought a remote control outlet that is purchased at Walmart and you can mount it right above the workbench. I also made sure to follow Robert from the biker channel's footsteps and have a fridge right next to my workbench for some needed beverages. Now that I have a decent set area set up, I can start organizing my tools a little bit better and be able to accomplish maintenance quicker to get back on the bike. Now this is a work in progress and I hope everyone likes how this is shaping up. Hopefully this is a temporary solution as the wifey and I hope to find a new house. For this reason, it's a very temporary setup. The final thing to add is my stickers to my toolbox that I've swapped with quite a few of you now. And so now I can finally give a proper home for them. Since the toolbox is something I don't ever plan on getting rid of, I want to put them on it. Remember, it's not about the lemons life gives you, it's about the lemonade you make with it. Coming up next time, I show how I took my Walmart bike and turned it into something that will be a dirt jumping reminiscent pump track machine. <laughs>